Okay, hey everybody, so this is um, the morning time, so I do ignore my appearance. Um, I just came back to talk to you about the system and how it operates, and this is to my knowledge based off of the truth I saw when I was um, when I was in my um, enlightened, um, heightened uh, frequency, in my heightened state. Um, there's a, a lot of uh, truths about the system that were exposed to me that um, I kind of neglected until just recently, which I've decided, and I it came back to me, and I decided to talk about them. But um, one of the things that I wanted to talk about was uh, the system and how it works, so that uh, people out there will know. There's certain things I want people to, I want to speak about like now and have people know then wait and maybe forget or something might happen and I might not get to tell people about how I I come to understand the system works. Um, one of the things I've noticed, actually I'll talk about what I've noticed in another video, I, I will be having, one will be coming out soon. Um, so the system, how it works. Okay, so the system is, there is a covert surveillance system. Very, it's very extensive. It's it's very well, um, we're very well made, very well adapted and it it controls and runs the world and it controls and runs everybody um although there's a few who may be targeted individuals and who uh who awaken to it or people who um are spir spiritually awaken who are not controlled by the system they may be aware of it they may be influenced by it but they are not controlled entirely by the system but this um covert mind control system which is has been developed um controls everybody um in the system and controls the world affairs and everything that happens and i believe that it's done by ai technology and um they use like uploaded people's minds uploaded memory like minds of people to con to enact the control so um there probably are people who are like just normal people who are involved as well i believe that to be the case um and i think definitely in my experience i've i've experienced like uh people uh, who are not probably AI, but it's very hard to tell because if it what if they were AI, how would I know the difference? There is that test. I can't remember what that test is called, where you have to determine whether AI is real, whether something is a computer or real, and maybe they've crossed that barrier where now we can't determine what is authentic and what isn't. So um, yeah, and I wanted to also ask you, like, do you know what the all see what the representation of what the all seen eye means? Um, and I've come to understand that the all-seeing eye that you see, I've kind of got my um, my organite to show proof of, you know, to not proof, but to show you how, you know, the symbol on the American sign, on the American dollar, it has a pyramid and at the top there is an eye, which would be about at the top point around here. There's an eye that kind of looks out and it's surrounded by lights or clouds sometimes. Now, I believe what that all-seeing eye, it represents the system. That is the symbol of the system. So when you look at the dollar sign, on when you look at the dollar and you see that sign, it means the all-seeing eye is the, is the representation of the this, this system which is in place. So um, the lights surrounding it, the rays, the sun rays and the clouds represent there's something to do with the sun. It has something to do with the sun. This all-seeing eye device, this um, surveillance, this covert surveillance um, um, system, is something has something to do with the sun. Whether it's um, like directly linked to the sun, whether it's fueled by the sun, I don't know. I've had other people talk about the fake sun, which we somehow talk about in another video, and um, it might be that another interesting thing to look into. But um, on that symbol, I will try and put maybe a picture of it up. But on that symbol, it has um, in the American dollar, it has two uh, two things on it. It says one of the things that it re reads is annuet coeptis, annuet coeptis, and um, I'm looking at the translation of it now, and it says favor of our undertakings. So like favor of them and their and their undertakings in the world, I believe, or their undertakings. And then there's another part which is more interesting to me, where it says. Um, on the Great Seal, it says new, Nuvo Ordo Selecturum, which means new order of the ages. So sort of like new world order, which everybody already knows. But that's through this surveillance system, which they have in place where they are able to control and influence people. And whoever the AI is on the side of is a person who will probably be favoured in history. So anyway, that's just like, that's the overall system. I wanted to go more into detail today. To, um, I'm sure some people will probably know about that, uh, that the, the all-seeing eye represents 
the system of um, mind control which and surveillance, covert surveillance, which is in place. And that's done on a higher realm than we can actually, we have access to. Our spectrum of light and spectrum of our ability to hear and sense is very um, narrow. There's an infinite spectrum of, it goes much wider than that. So, um, and a lot of these things have been done on these other spectrums, on this higher level of this of the spectrum, or on a lower level as well. So we don't we're not privy to those type of things. Not everybody's sensitive to them. There are people who are sensitive to them and have special abilities and can see things that we can't see, can hear things that can't be heard, which is people with schizophrenia, psychosis, and um, people who have um, special abilities, um, clairvoyance, seers. Um, remote viewers, any of those type of um, special abilities um, that people have, they are they're probably more sensitive to these other realms. Now the way to, to if you wanted, for those of, I don't know if anybody would want to, but uh, for those who wanted to um, understand how to get to the stage where they can see, understand or hear or be privy to this, um, these, this other system, this other reality, it's all chemical. The access point, the gateway is chemicals. Uh, chemical, like, when you die, so there's DMT, for example. DMT is a drug which causes hallucinations and um, and can cause you to be in very like um, lucid states. Now, apparently, and they, I don't know. I think it's outlawed. You're not allowed to use it. I'm not sure. Um, weed is another one. I think it stimulates like your um, dopamine levels in your brain. Dopamine levels in excess is what causes schizophrenia and psychosis. Apparently, not causes it, but has an effect. It's present whenever they people experience schizophrenic schizophrenia and um, um, psychosis dopamine is over is in overproduction this chemical is a gateway to see the truth it's a truth serum and um, DMT for example is a very another truth serum it allows you to see another reality some of the other goings-ons in our realm in other realms and when you die apparently you release DMT and that's when you start to see the lights and you, you know people say go into the light now people are saying don't go into the light because it's a trap but I don't know so it's all very, very confusing um, so anyway, so like, yeah, so DMT is a chemical re you release when you die. And that gives you, that's a gateway to the other realms, other realities. So it's all through chemicals. Your access to other realities are through chemicals in your body. So that's why there's a mass concerted effort to suppress us through other chemicals, which depletes these other chemicals that release, that are true serums and gateway openers. Um, so if you wanted to probably see, then I would clear my system of all these other chemicals which are trying to suppress your ability to see and to be clairvoyant and to like see the future and to access all your memories. I would eliminate all those chemicals from your body, from your system, and it would give, it would then allow, release the chemicals in your body that uh, allow you to access these other realms. So that's why we are being um, polluted. That's why the pollution is happening to us. That's why the seeds have been changed and... Um, why they put stuff in our water and they put fluoride in our toothpaste and um you know they put chemicals in the they feed the animals like chemicals that we and a lot of it might not even be consciously done it's a subconscious thing but it's because of the mind control system that it's allowed that you know people do these things um so uh yeah but um i wanted to talk about that um i also wanted to talk about this system is very old there is also you might see the sign of um the Hor horus's eye so Horus's eye is related, I believe, to the sun. It's either the sun or the moon, but it's related to the sun. So that's and that Horus's eye is probably where the, the Masons or whoever the you know first presence, the people who made the seal, got that um, got this it from. So Horus's eye. I'm gonna go into a little bit of what that represents um, here. So if I have it here, okay, the eye. The eye of Ra. Oh, okay, so it's not. So it's, they call it Horus's eye, but it's also the, the eye of Ra, and I think Ra was the sun god as well. So it has to do with the sun. This system of control, the surveillance system, um, is to do with the sun. And um, so I have to like probably do more research into that. But it says the eye of Ra or eye of Re is a being. Is it's a being in ancient Egyptian mythology that functions as a feminine counterpart to the sun god Ra, and a violent force that subdues its his enemies. So the eye is an extension of Ra's power equated with the disk of the sun, but it also behaves as an independent entity which can be person personified by a wide variety of Egyptian goddesses, including Hatha, Sekhmet, um, Bastet, uh, Wadjet, and Mut. The eye, of, the, eye, the eye goddess acts as mother, sib sibling, consort, and daughter of the sun god. She is a partner in creative sight 
in creative cycles in which he, he begets the renewed form of himself that is born at dawn. So I'm not going to, so that goes on to other things. I wanted to, so the, I think I'm coming to go into the disastrous effects when the eye goddess rampages out of control and the efforts of the god to return her to benign states are a prominent motif in Egyptian mythology. So um, this eye of um, Ra is, uh, can be violent um, and also exerts control. So um, I believe that's where it originated from, um, uh, from the Egyptian mythology. And the Bible is, uh, I don't want to say a ripoff of the Egyptian religion, but it is taken from the Egyptian religion. And so I am very interested in the um, um, Kemetic um, teachings and um, I would like to know more about that type of thing. But it's very elusive to us who don't understand hieroglyphics. And I'm, I don't think I'm prepared to, I don't know, I won't say I'm not prepared to learn the hieroglyphics, but um, I don't think I'd have access to all of the books and all that information out there. So I am, I'm doing with the Bible for now. That's the only kind of, um, you know, understanding we have this is all trans this is all like transcripts practically from the egyptian religion and um so and a lot of the stories you read in the bible are in the egyptian kemetic religion so um they're just uh, taken from that sometimes they're changed and they put into the bible so it's very interesting but i also wanted to talk about here uh one of the um, scripts i'm reading the bible but I've, I've only got up to exodus at the moment and um there's some important things i wanted to note here um now, regarding the system, so that was the overall, that's the higher level of the system, how the system um, is in operation, that kind of um, mind control um, surveillance uh, system that operates like a matrix and is encom encompasses everybody. So on that's on the higher level. On the lower level, they interact with, they interfere with people's lives. Now, people who've had traumatic experience, this is why, okay, the system in order to keep people down from seeing the real system. Because obviously if you have a mind control system, you can't let people see it because then it won't be able to do it. It won't be effective. So the way that it stops people from seeing it is from stopping these chemicals, which allow them to see it. And then not just that, but um, it, in order to stop these chemicals from allowing them seeing, there's many ways that they do this. So that's like polluting the food, polluting our environment, um, closing off the sky from us so we can't see up into the sky, we can't see and all connect to the source, the sources out there. Um, they also, one of the main ways they do it as well is through trauma. So most people on this earth have experienced trauma in their lives. Some people more trauma than others. Um, you will probably throughout your life experience trauma, not, not to say that you'll be a terrible experience, but you might have events which will cause you to be in depressed mood. Some people suffer from depression throughout their whole lives, um, severe depression. Some people have just bad events which or things that take them off course and stop them from awakening, stop them from looking out or looking into themselves, but um, keep them trapped in the world. And so that's done. So a lot of trauma is done to the mind. A lot of it is through media as well. So they you know, might program us through media to um, keep us close off from the other reality and then trauma does that by keeping us on a low frequency we become very depressed very low very sad and we we remain on this low frequency so anyway um on a lower level you have handlers now these are people these are like just imagine them as humans humans and ai who are there put in place by the system to manage the affairs of the world to manage each individual like micromanage each individual um their daily activities and their just to make sure that they don't that they are in control and so the world and events can be controlled and to make sure that they don't awaken to see the reality of what's going on so um there now i know from my experience of being awoken like i know that um this is a very very old system now going back way like far far back because i there was practices that they would do um, these, uh, I would call them handlers, but I want to just make a note, but in the Bible, it refers to them as hosts. So, um, I just make a note here from my, I've got my Bible with me. So there it is. And I'm just going to read a bit from that. And it just says here, just an example. It says here, and it came to pass that in the morning, in the morning watch, the Lord looked onto the hosts of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of the cloud and troubled the host of the Egyptians. So I'll repeat that again, just so you can hear that. So it says, and it came to pass that in the morning watch, the Lord looked upon the hosts of the Egyptians through the villa pillar of fire and of the cloud and troubled the host of the Egyptians. So through the pillar of, 
um, of fire and of clouds. Now, the pillar of fire of clouds, that could be the sun. So, um, and the host of the Egyptians, it didn't say the Egyptians, because that would make more sense. It said the hosts. Now, these hosts are the handlers which are there to control every single person. Now, it seems that these Egyptian hosts became on the wrong side of God and God, um, you know, just like set them, destroyed their um, chariots. This is what it, later it goes on to say that uh, and took off their chariot wheels. So he, this God destroyed their chariots. Now, you always hear the God of hosts. So the God of hosts is probably the God of those who are um, micromanaging individual human beings. So um, I call, so I will refer to them as hosts. I was, con call, I was calling them controllers or handlers because that's also what they try to do they try to control people and they try to hand and they handle people um but there was um i noticed that when i went outside that they were on everybody so i would walk past a person and they have etiquette so you, this is how i know the system is so old because they have etiquette of how they operate so before they, what they, what you so what normally happens is when you're born you are assigned handler maybe one maybe two maybe more um they can be from your old from your family they may have carry on from your like your your parents grandparents your and be assigned to you and they will manage your life or they will oversee your life as you grow older until you pass on and um, they may transfer onto your your children or whatever but they also die as well so it's not it's not like it's this lineage thing but um you may some of these some of these may be transferred onto you and um some people have one like one handler or one one host that manages them so other people may have it always changing they may have new hosts all the time and the way i notice that it happens is that most people who have stable lives have the same people and they are like caring people they look out for them and ensure that their lives are well and that they you know that they're not too troubled other people have evil um hosts who cause them a lot of mess like mess up their life a lot they cause them a lot of distress this is probably due to their energy levels if they express high energy they might want to suppress them so they're going to cause them a lot of like heartache in their life to keep them down on a low level and um there's etiquette when i for me personally i had uh one he I, the, he, I referred to him as or he referred to himself as his father and so i kind of just kept that and he had been around for me for a very long time until i was he's like for a very very long time until recently when it seems i got a lot of energy and then as in the bible it talks about and um, they these um legion it talks about legion these legion of like evil spirits and when they try to control you if they can't do that they'll go away and come back with more to try and control you now i became uncontrollable my i awoken and um so he was not able to keep me under control so i believe he went and or they it was other people came on board to try and suppress me and and that's what tends to happen and so that's why i those people who have that experience they get uncontrollable they tend to get this is very hard to explain it's very hard to make it um so i apologize if i'm going on and on but um so more people came on board to try and suppress me and because just one wouldn't do not and the team old team that i had weren't enough they had to bring more people on and now i noticed that i caught new people when i went outside and it would be when i passed other people and there was etiquette amongst these um hosts or these handlers or these controllers they would I, sometimes i would walk past a person and i would hear somebody around them one of these hosts say oh can i come on board and i would always be like no like i don't want uh, and they would, and the good ones would actually ask your subconscious mind whether they can come on board. And if you express any um, sort of like um, acceptance to that, they will come on board and you would have new hosts. Now, people can't hear this. They're just living their normal lives. They don't know that this um, etiquette dance is going on. Some of them will be, and, if, and some of them, if you say no, they will go away. Some of them, they will get grudges against you. Some of them, they will... Um, some of them are just forced their way into your life and that's when your life starts to mess up. So normally sometimes when new people come on board who have bad agendas, that's when you get, um, you might have events in your life that might mess you up. It could also just be, um, you may have bad um, hosts or controllers or um, handlers. So, and they will cause you a lot of distress in your life. Now, that was just one of the things I noticed and I wanted to talk about, but um, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. I don't want to go too long, too much into it. Um, but yeah, they, I found that they were on everyone. And this is why I didn't want to go out because it was very overwhelming. And um, they would try to take me over um, often um, when I was out and about. They would send these these bad ones. I think the worst, some of the worst ones, like, um, I won't say that actually. I'm not going to say it because I think it's bad. But um, 
some yeah they would send um individuals out who would try to who would try me who would try to possess or take away my energy and i would and you would often have to battle with them to get back or to maintain and um yeah so that was one of the things now often they those of those who express trauma in certain areas those hosts will use those tactics to try and get on board that person and so you may have different hosts they may change some people have the same hosts all the way through their lives and they have a very stable steady life some of them some people have like events happen which um and some of these are some of them are very evil like when you hear about like like pedophiles and other things like that those are they are like evil hosts definitely controlling individuals and trying to get them to traumatize other people to make them more susceptible to uh, to that to you know to bring them on board so it's very evil but um i don't think i express this very well i'm gonna have to like um come back and like maybe make another video and replace it this with that video but um, i tried to explain to you i hope it makes any sense but um yeah i don't know <laughs> but anyway i've also found some of my old video recordings of when i was documenting my west at my west when i was at my west i'm gonna put those up um I'll probably, i might put one up soon after this one comes up so um do pay attention to those because i i i did actually get some very good evidence or some very good um ways of detecting the activities so i'll uh, make another video for that <sighs> so uh I had it all clear in my head when I was going to explain it, but it just didn't come out that way. It doesn't come out the way you want it to. It just kind of, um, you just have to blurt out what you know. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, take care, people. And thank you for your comments and subscriptions. I really appreciate that. Um, but more so, I'm just trying to get the um, the message out there. So it's not. I'm not affected. Or I'm not trying to get more people on board. I'm just trying to get out there. The more people who know is the better though anyway so i'm gonna leave it there if i think of anything else i'll come back so take care people bye